Hello, Shadowcat back with more Mass Effect. Oh my god, I just went back with more Mass Effect. I am still so excited for this game, I can't even tell you. Um, okay, so, pop quiz for me, but you can play along at home if you want. Uh, what did we learn last time? Okay, uh, I'm Shepard, I'm on the Normandy, I'm part of an organization, I don't know what it is, but we're looking for Prothean artifacts, and we found one, and someone died over it. Jenkins, I think. I think Jenkins died. And there was somebody else who was with us. I don't remember what his name was. Wait, was he Jenkins? Because he tried to use the thing, and I got in the way, and it exploded. And also, we had a friend who was a Turian, right? And his name was Nihilus, and he's dead. Yeah. And he's dead because of another Turian whose name is Saren? I think it's Saren? I don't remember. I think it is. And they're Reapers, and he's doing something evil. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on yet. Oh, and the planet of Eden Prime was attacked by Geth, who are basically androids. And they're basically doing what androids always do. They rebel. Is that everything so far? I think that's everything so far. Okay, so now I'm back on the ship after I got sapped with the thing, and now I need to go talk with Joker, if I remember correctly. And I think he was the guy that was the pilot. So let's go see if we can find Joker. Also, check out this ship. I mean, I knew the Normandy was famous because of this game, and I know it's special, but... Open. Oh, he just saluted me. I don't even really know who I am. I mean, besides the fact that I'm me. Am I special? Is there something special about me? I don't know. Yeah, Joker's up there. He's the pilot. Joker? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. The Citadel? What the hell? Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need Wait, that's a ship? Too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Wait, this is the Citadel. It's enormous. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. 
in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Okay, well... <laughs> he is... He is treasonous. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Okay, that's fair. I'm not a huge fan of politicians either. Big place. Yeah, this place is big. I have to assume the sky is artificial. This place can't... No, this place doesn't have an atmosphere. This is a ring. Wow. Um... So what am I doing now? This place is fancy. And do what? What the hell are those? I what the hell is that? I feel like I don't belong here. Um let's go this way. Door? Okay. Um Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, hologram. Um, hello hologram. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Uh, sure. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Maybe? Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Uh, what are the races? Can I... can I ask about that? Yeah, Citadel Council. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Uh, okay, that's good enough. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I feel like I need an entire primer just to play this. I have no idea what these races are. Citadel Rapid Transport? Well, yeah, it looks rapid, but... Where do I sit? I have to assume I sit up here. Not a two-seater. Um... But where am I going? Hold on a second. Okay. This is my inventory. 
Which, by the way, I did look at, um, after I got off yesterday. Uh, but I don't really have anything that's really worth using. So I got this, uh, this, this Banshee 1 rifle. And this is a Lancer, but it does less damage. I did find a new rifle, though, I think. Yeah, I got this Reaper rifle. So, should be good? I hope. Maybe. But, how do I find out where I'm going? Oh, wait, here we go. Um. Maybe? The Emporium, a bank, a place. But where do I go? Wait, destination? Okay, yeah, go go back. Where's my destination? Oh wait, I can set a destination. I have no idea where I'm going. Hold on, I gotta go figure out what I'm doing. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Can I ask, what are you? Who are you? This one's face. No, I, I got time that. To examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. So he's a Hanar. Okay. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Um. Okay, let's just look at what you have. You sell... Armor. Okay. Um. I don't have any money. So, uh, I'm not going to look. I still gotta find where the hell I'm supposed to be going. And there's all kinds of directions around here, but without knowing where I'm supposed to be going, this is not working out well. I am so friggin' lost. And there are so many aliens around here. Or I guess I'm the alien? Either way, I kind of feel like I don't belong here. Oh well, I guess I'll keep looking. Okay, so I pressed a few buttons. Uh, probably broke a couple of things in the process. I hope not, but I think I did. Uh, but I need to go to a tower. So I need to find a tower. I need a map. Fortunately, I have a map. Citadel Tower, right there. Hey, I'm almost right there. Okay, this will be fantastic. I am learning as I go. Speaking of, I'm going the wrong direction. I promise I'm not usually this directionally challenged. another one of those bug guys. They're kind of creepy. So wait, is it this? Citadel Tower. Yeah, this should be it. Okay. Let's go up. Everybody in? You want to get in a little bit more? No? Okay.
Huh, big tower. Okay. Time to talk. Executor Pollen Garis. They're both Turians, right? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Uh, did you find anything? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I highly doubt that. I get the feeling they don't even like me. Or humans in general. Kind of getting that feeling anyway. But I'm going to guess they're up the top of the stairs. Who are you? Oh, I guess I can't talk to you. You're another Turian. This isn't one of those bug things. Oh, he actually looks kind of sleepy. You know, he's almost not horrible when he's napping. But he is still horrible. Hey, there's Captain. Already started. Come on. Sorry, I was late. I got lost. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Uh, I didn't destroy the beacon. Um, but neither one of these options is I didn't destroy the beacon. So, who are you? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect? From a human. Yeah, I was right. They do kind of hate us. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Okay. I'm gonna get him regardless. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Uh, no. Don't think so. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador. Your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned.
funny how there's only ever justice when you win. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Okay, well, we're not going to get the Council's help. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Could be something. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Look, just because I'm going to handle it doesn't mean you got to disrespect Captain like that. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Okay, is that all we've got? Anything else? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. And I don't have any money, as I found out over at the Emporium. So, uh, yeah, what about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up but I saw how he operates no conscience no hesitation he'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought ah he's one of those people killing innocents doesn't end wars it causes them I know how the world works commander sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions but only if there's no other way Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. All right. Well, then I guess I'll go and uh, check out those couple of leads. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. So, two leads. Need to go to a club, that dingy little club, and I need to find this shadow broker somewhere. Oh, and I need to talk to that Garrus person. I wonder if he's still over here. Up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. What guy? What keeper? I don't know who any of these people are or what they're doing. I wonder if that Garrus guy is still down here, though. Doesn't look like it. No, he's gone. Okay, though. Um, Let's get back down to street level, though. Directions? Uh, right. Citadel Tower, Bank, Emporium, Consort Chambers, Citadel Tower, 
Yeah. Okay. So I know where I need to go. I need to go... I think I need to go find one of those, um... Those direction AIs. Yeah, you can hate politics, but we can't avoid them. All right, there's the AI lady. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Uh, duly noted. Okay, bug people are keepers. Um. Okay, now I'm curious. What are they? I'd like to know more about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Uh, why? Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Um, okay. That's all for now. Thank but you for using Avena. You didn't actually Have tell me present. where I need to go. All right, um... So, point of interest, that's a Vena. There's a bank, an emporium, consort chambers, offices, embassies. Oh, wait, Garrus. Speak to Harkin. Kor's den in the lower ward. Okay, lower ward. So, presumably then, I have to go down. I need an elevator or some stairs or something similar. And I think I just found them. Lower wards, lower wards. Um, okay. Did I just take the stairs down to the elevator? I literally did. I just took the stairs down to the elevator. All right, everyone on board. Come on. Everybody in. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Yeah, that's that's a that's that's a valid concern, especially now. All right, so where are we? Uh, that's to the presidium. Presumably, someone can read that. I can't. Stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fizz is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. Um, the point. We want okay, so does my map say anything? 
flux in Ward's Axis? Ward's Axis Corridor. So forward and to the right. Wait, another elevator? All right, everybody get in here. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. And Hanar, that's what the jellyfish looking guy was. All right. Okay, medical clinic and C-Sec to markets and cores den. This way. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Wait. Did someone say my name? I thought I heard my name. Was it you? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. What investigation? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on the coups when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Okay, it sounds like you know more about me than I know about me. Uh... No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Yeah, I'm not making any promises. I have other stuff to do. Open. This is the future. Why aren't doors just automatic? Wait, is this Cora's Den? Okay, so we just gotta find someone. Who are we looking for? Um. No, wait, not that. Put that away before someone gets angry. Uh, no. Yes. Harkin. Harkin is who we're looking for. Uh, let's see. Expat. Do do. Ooh, there is a lower part. Wait, was that guy actually talking to me? You know me? It's you. Why does everyone know me? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Who are you? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Do they now? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Uh, no. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Yeah, you're creepy. Go away. Besides, I don't know what you're going to do with my signature. Oh, this place looks seedy.
Okay, looking for a Harkon. I don't see one. Can I get in here? Is this guy going to stop me? Mm. Oh, no, wait. I'm not in Kor's Den That's yet. <gasps> An assassin? Gotcha. the hell's trying to kill me? A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? There's people trying to kill us and you're worried about the cars. Uh-huh. Keeping my pistol handy on this place. All right, so I'm looking for a uh, Harkin. There, there's Harkin. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I don't want to deal with you anymore. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. So those are Krogans. Okay. They're, um... They look tough. Excuse me. Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. Looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. Yeah, no. I'll pass. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of Seasick. I'm looking for Garrus. I'm looking for a Seasick officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down in. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the Captain let you in on his big secret? Okay, pretty sure he did, but what secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Okay, I don't care. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. That's all I needed. Gotta go to the med clinic. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. You are welcome to drink in peace. All right, so I believe med bay is on the other side of this ward. I don't know how I can still hear them when they're apparently nowhere near me. Also, we have got to get you a new uniform. The pink is fine. The white stands out like a sore thumb. Okay, so... Up here? Looks like there might have been a quicker way in and out of this place. Maybe.
Assuming, of course, that no one wants to come and try to murder me here. Okay, I think I'm safe here. To Presidium. Okay, we're back to this place. So, Med Clinic. CSEC. This way. Uh, CSEC Academy. I don't think that's where I want to go. This looks like more ships. Where's medical? Is medical up here? Okay, yeah, medical's over here. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Well, found Garrus. Say, poke your head out from there. Perimeter secured. Garrus, nice to meet you again. Particularly under the circumstances. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh, yeah, nice shot. He took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. So, who were they? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Uh, what's a Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Okay, what else? Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Okay. Uh, could be evidence. What else do we have? What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Okay, but they're not going to believe it just because we say so. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Okay. Why do you not like Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Deal. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Mm. Well, we don't need him, but... I never hurts to have more. Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay. 
So, what do we got here? Oh, I see. I can only bring so many people with me. Um. So I gotta pick people. Um. Ashley, as much as I do like you, and I do like you, you are just like a security officer. I, no offense, but I think I'm going to take the professionals. Yeah, I like this. Okay, we're going to do this. Yep. Accept the squad. If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. Okay, we're not going to the casino. We have to go find a Krogan. Krogan, right? Yeah. We have to go find a Krogan. All right. So this should actually be pretty easy, I guess, as long as no one else tries to kill us. And we just got to go to C-Sec Academy, which is, like, right over there. Should be pretty easy. All right. But as we head over there, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and take a break. It's kind of a long episode as it is. And... There's still so much to look forward to. I don't want to stop. I could keep doing this for like seven more hours. Straight. But, uh, that would be a lot to upload at once, I think. And nobody would watch it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. So, if you want to be there when we take down Rex, or we get Rex on our side, whichever happens first, because I get the feeling that Krogan are not exactly diplomatic. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you're here for every video when they come out. If you know somebody else who likes Mass Effect, or more importantly if they know more about Mass Effect than I do, share this video with them. Then you can tell them to come back, leave a like, leave a comment on the video telling me what I'm doing wrong. I lost somebody. Oh well, he'll catch up. So they can tell me what I'm doing wrong and I can get better. So do all that. There he is. And I will see you back here next time for more Mass Effect. Until then, take care.